In today's video, I'll be talking about six interior design ideas for your dining room spaces. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Fazati Ali and I'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning. I also do DIYs and give you guys affordable ideas on how to make your own home deco pieces. I also paint, so do feel free to hit that subscribe button below and join the family. I upload videos every single week. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can always be alerted every single time I upload my videos. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into today's video. As I tell you, um, a few interior design ideas when you're working on your dining room. Now the first interior design tip you want to think about when working on your dining space is of course furniture. When you move into a new space and you have a dining area, you're definitely going to be thinking, okay, I need furniture in this particular space. So how do you go about picking furniture for your dining room area? Well, first things first, think about the size of that particular dining room. This is really important so that when you go out there and pick furniture for that space, you're making sure you're thinking about proportion and balancing the space to the furniture. So you want to have a round table. If you have a small space, go for a round table. This um, ensures you still have a, a lot of space around and that is enough space for traffic, of course, when you're moving around that um, area. And of course, you can also add another piece of furniture in that particular space and if you have a large space go ahead and have um, rectangular tables long oval tables whatever length of table can actually work in that particular space so round tables for small spaces rectangular tables for larger spaces another um, thing you can think about when you're picking furniture for your dining room is of course the amount of lights coming into that particular room uh, most times if you have very little light coming in uh, that's mostly natural light you can avoid um, having like heavy materials like wood and maybe go for glass um, dining room tables this will create an airy feel and make the room feel a little lighter um, of course if you have a glass table you're also allowed to go ahead and just have nice beautiful bold colored chairs and of course some simple accessory on the table this will all come together and look really really appealing so you have to consider lighting um, that's coming in your space before you pick up furniture for your dining room areas of course another thing when it comes to furniture is there is a new trend uh, most times we find our dining room sets having similar chairs which is the norm something we're used to but now there's a new trend that's coming in where the chairs don't really have to match each other you find a dining room set with different um, designs of chairs as long as at some point they have something similar that pulls the whole composition together they look really really amazing so it could be different designs of chairs um, different colors of chairs or different textures in the chairs but at the end of the day they have something that makes them um, work with that particular dining table that you have and uh, it looks good it's different but it looks good so you can also um, give that a try so that's just some of the things you can consider when picking furniture for your particular space Now the second tip to consider when doing your dining room spaces is lighting um, and this particularly I'm talking about lighting fixtures on our bulbs. I know a lot of us ignore this as long as we have a bulb in the house and we can turn it on and see during the night nobody really thinks about um, making the light look aesthetic but I assure you that getting a lighting fixture for your space will make it look so good so this is something you must definitely do when you're working on your dining room spaces. Now if you have a round table in your dining room, try to go for something that also matches the shape. So find something round and hang it up as a lighting fixture, it will look amazing. If you have a longer table or a rectangular table, try to have something longer. A longer lighting fixture, a rectangular lighting fixture, or you can hang a couple of lighting fixtures next to each other, um, depending on the length of 
your table and it will look so so appealing so always consider um, lighting fixtures when you're working on your dining room areas it creates an amazing amazing focal point when somebody walks into that particular room and of course guys i know um, some of the worries might be the prices for lighting fixtures but everything has a range there's always the fairly priced ones the most expensive ones so you can always find something that works within your budget also i also um, gave you guys an amazing um idea where you can make your own um, geometric lighting pendants using simply straws that is super super affordable so do check that video out in the description and of course Get your space looking stunning and make your lighting better. <laughs> now another interior design idea you want to consider when working on your dining room areas is use of mirrors. Now for some reason mirrors always make a room look really aesthetic plus the reflective um, surface makes a room look really large. So I talked about this in the video about how to make a small space look larger and I told you guys uh, how to use a mirror to make your rooms look a lot bigger than they actually are. So definitely consider using mirrors. They make a space look really appealing no matter the shape. You can go for round ones, you can go for square mirrors, you can go for rectangular mirrors, hexagonal mirrors, whichever the case. They will make your dining room just look really, really beautiful. Also guys, I want to give you a more like um, fairly priced idea on how you can use mirrors in your space here in Kenya. Um, I, I know mostly when you go to stores for mirrors, they can be really expensive. So try and just buy the mirrors that you usually buy on the streets. Um, they range, the smallest ones are probably maybe 200, the largest ones go for around 500 and they're like really big, the rectangular ones. So if you want maybe just a small decorative area in your dining room. Buy the smaller ones, um, try changing the color of the frame. The color of the frame is never attractive, it's orangish wood, not, not nice. Um, so try it, make it black, make it white, um, make it gold, make it silver, and then just have six of them on a particular wall. So have three on the top and arrange another three at the bottom in a parallel way and they will look really, really good. And you won't have to spend a lot of money. If you want, you can also go for larger mirrors also another idea is you can buy this fairly priced mirrors on the streets take it to a fundi or a carpenter that you know and maybe have them remove the frame that is on it and put a frame that looks a lot more aesthetic to you and yeah simply and affordably you can still have um, a beautiful decorative mirror in your dining room area so definitely consider um adding a mirror in your dining room area to make it look a lot more aesthetic wall art wall art is something that always creates focal points and makes a room look a lot more aesthetic when you're working on your dining room areas definitely consider adding a nice beautiful um, art piece on your walls this will just make the space look very very beautiful very aesthetic and it creates a statement on your wall that just pulls your whole um, dining room area together so if you are working with a neutral palette on your chairs and tables maybe you're just working with whites and greens and blacks Try to have a really bold colored um, artwork on your wall to just create that, you know, playfulness and vibrance in that particular space. And if you already have bold colors on your chairs or some materials in that particular dining room, try and have a wall art that actually matches those colors. This will make the room look so good because the whole composition will be pulled together to make the room just look like one um, particular piece. Anyway, um, when you're considering wall art, think about something that inspires you or something you just find um, very beautiful, something you find um, quite um, vibrant or something that just matches the rest of the deco in that particular space. If you're having round tables, you can always have um, a lot of circles in that particular artwork. If you're having rectangular items, have geometric shapes in your artwork. All this will make a space look so, so aesthetic. So, guys. Yeah, you want paintings i'm right here for you feel free to contact me i will make you the most beautiful paintings so yeah consider artwork when you're when working on your dining room area another small tip to consider when working in your dining room areas is using of plants and this is something that a lot of us can um, ignore but having plants or greenery or nature in a particular room 
For example, the dining room we're talking about is very good because it gives that feeling of life, freshness and looks very very aesthetic. So go out there, get some flowers, get some flower pots and have really huge plants in that particular space. Um, make sure you just have some greenery. Bringing nature into the space will just make it look very very lively and really really beautiful. So um, another thing I know is maybe a lot of us find find it hard to have natural um, plants in the house this is because you have to constantly take care of them and all that so you can always go for artificial plants they also still work and these days a lot of plants are actually made to look quite um you know quite real so they will still serve the same purpose so yeah consider having plants in your dining room area to make it look a lot more appealing now the final touch you want to add in your particular dining room is using of accessories and this can range from you know ornaments and decorative items your vases and just centerpieces and every other little thing that you want to add in that particular dining area um for this item always have you know your personal style and just personal touch in every single item and just put them around in the dining room to make it look a lot more appealing of course you want to make sure your accessories match with the rest of the decor in the dining area don't make them um, become too odd and just seem to be um, completely different from the rest of the you know set apart from that you want to try and make sure that your accessories also match the size of your dining area and dining so don't have something too big in a really small area and also don't have very very small um, ornaments in a really big area make a statement with your accessories also guys um, try and make sure you're not having too many accessories in that particular dining area we do not want to and we do not want to end up cluttering that particular space just pick a few really nice ones that will work with the style of that dining room and you're good to go so make sure to have a few accessories in your dining room as the final touch when you're working on your dining space and yes you'll have a really really stunning dining room at the end of the day so we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to learn a few tips on how to make your dining areas look a lot more appealing if you have more tips do leave them in the comment section below i would also be more than glad to learn from you anyway guys thank you so much for watching my videos also i want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos for commenting for subscribing for sharing everything it truly means a lot to me also i want to thank those of you who have been sending me messages and just telling me how much you enjoy my content and how helpful they are for you when it comes to interior design it means a lot to me and it actually you know motivates me to just want to make a lot more um, amazing content for you so that i can help you guys just figure out how to go about when going about um, interior design in your particular spaces so thank you so much i truly appreciate all your messages and your support it means the world to me anyways see you guys next week inshallah with another video love you guys so much bye bye